In this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can enable the class to pivot table label in Excel, which will make it to where you can grab fields and drag them directly into your pivot table, as opposed to only being able to drag them into the field list below. So to do this, go to click, first click into the pivot table, then click pivot table analyze. Now, after clicking on this, click on pivot table on the left, click the drop down arrow there. And you're going to see a chance to rename the pivot table, but instead of doing that, click on options below. After clicking on options, go over to display. And under the second or the third grouping, you're going to see a box that says classic pivot table layout, enable dragging of fields into the grid. So click on that and then click OK. And now, as you can see, there's little blue boxes around pivot table. But unlike the old layout, I can actually drag stuff directly into my pivot table. And as you can see, whenever I drag something in, and I ever hover something over the box, it highlights in green. So, I, for example, I drag regular from new and it shows like that. I drag cost per cookie into the filter and it shows like that. Which, you know, this can be great if you're trying to better visualize your pivot table. Or maybe if you just makes it easier to drag and visually see where the stuff is going into your pivot table. As opposed to as opposed to just the fields. Um, now, one thing to note: going back to this, doing access setting, pivot table analyze, pivot table, then options and display. As you can see, whenever I click that box, you can't show the values only. So it's one thing to note, but yeah, this can hopefully make working with pivot table a bit easier and a bit more visual. And if you want to get rid of the setting, just un uncheck the box and then click OK. As I hope you found this to be helpful, and if you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.